I would now like to call our National Vice Commanders to join me on stage for our next presentation, which will be given by retired Navy Captain Louis Cavalieri of the Chapel of the Fort Chaplains Foundation. Ladies and gentlemen, good morning. I give you greetings from the Chapel of Four Chaplains in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. On stage with me today is the Department Commander from the State of Vermont, uh, Mark Clothier. You'll hear about why he's here in a minute. And also on stage with me is uh, John Browse, a former District Commander from the Department of New Jersey. So let's hear it for Vermont and New Jersey and Pennsylvania. So I want to start by telling you about one of the projects that we did this year. And I want to thank you for all your help, because without your help, we can't do these things. But there is a Gilman United Methodist Church, which was once the center of the Gilman, Vermont community. It has been sitting empty for 12 years. The Methodist Governing Council has deemed it for closure and deconsecrating. But what makes this church so worthy is the fact that it was the church for Reverend George Fox. This was his home church. And the significance of that is that George Fox was one of the four chaplains, one of those four who gave up their lives when the Dorchester went down after being hit by a torpedo from a U-boat. George Fox was from the state of Vermont. He was the chaplain for the state of Vermont in the American Legion, and he was the oldest of the four chaplains. He actually served in World War I, and then when World War II came around, he enlisted as a chaplain. He made the ultimate sacrifice on the Dorchester in the North Atlantic on February 3, 1943. Now, in September of last year, American Legion Post 47 in Canaan, Vermont, and the Post 41, the Moore Fox American Legion Post, joined together to save this church from sale to a developer. Over the following months, the two posts started a financial drive to buy the church and rename it the Reverend George L. Fox Memorial Chapel. The Chapel of Four Chaplains used its nationwide reach to join in that campaign and we helped them raise over $30,000 to buy that chapel. And as you can see, the goal was exceeded on July 30th of this year. So the foundation founded by Post 47 and 41 are the new owners of the George Fox Memorial Chapel in Gilman, Vermont. And we want to congratulate them for doing that great work. And in order to add to that, I have a check for Commander Clothier for an additional $7,500 that we were raised uh, in our campaign in Philadelphia. So why did we do this? Did we do this to remember George Fox? Yes, we did. Did we do this to remember the four chaplains? Yes, we did. But we really did it because we want that post that works post 41 out of that chapel in Vermont to be the one, to continue to be the one to help veterans because we know that that is where it is. You know, I get asked, the most common question I get asked is, why did the four chaplains do what they did? And I cannot answer that. I have read through all of the testimonies of the survivors, and what I can allude to is this. I think that they knew that by giving up their life jackets, they knew that if they were going, that they were going to fall into the hands of God, and God was going to raise them up. And that's exactly what happened on February 3rd, 1943. And in conjunction with that, and to uphold that legacy, which many of you do at your post all over the country, we are now going to induct the executive staff into the Legion of Honor of the Chapel of Four Chaplains. 
ordinary people who have done extraordinary things in the legacy of the four chaplains. If they were here today, they would tell you, be the one. And if anyone has stressed that this year, it's been Commander Triola and his staff. So let's all stand now and congratulate them for being inducted into the Legion of Honor of the Chapel of Four Chaplains. The Legion of Honor Bronze Medallion from the Chapel of Four Chaplains is granted for extraordinary contributions to the well-being of others at the national or world level, to world peace, or to interfaith or inter-ethnic understanding. The medallions are being presented by the Chapel of the Four Chaplain Foundation Board Chairman, Louis Cavalieri. They are being awarded to National Commander Vincent J. Jim Triola, National Vice Commander Kenneth C. Hilton, National Vice Commander Patricia A. Harris, National Vice Commander Glenn L. Wahoos, National Vice Commander Paul M. Kennedy, and National Vice Commander Douglas R. Urich. Uh, please stand and attention to orders. The Chapel of Four Chaplains is pleased to present the Legion of Honor to the National Staff of the American Legion on August 30th, 2023, in recognition of their lifetime of service to all people, regardless of faith. This award symbolizes for all Americans and for all time the unity of this nation founded upon the fatherhood of one God. Thank you very much, and hopefully we'll see you between here and New Orleans. Once again, you're all welcome to come and visit us in Philadelphia. God bless. <laughs>